There's five new Lowrance Active Imaging HD transducers for 2023. So which one is right for you? If you've just found the In-Depth Sonar YouTube channel because you were searching for the topic that's covered in this video, my name is Lauren and I'm the host of the channel. I've been in the marine electronics industry for the last 22 years. In that time, I've gained a lot of knowledge on the different products and technologies that are out there and the point of this channel is to share that information with you. I've got videos on all kinds of different things, so you can go search through the channel to find what you're looking for. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, and you'll get our latest videos that way. Active Imaging HD from Lowrance finally brings Chirp Sonar to their down and side imaging. This is something that the competition's been doing for several years now, and I mean several years, and Lowrance has finally gotten into that. So hopefully this is gonna give us the clearest images we've ever seen on a Lowrance side scan unit. In addition to Chirp, we also have frequencies into the megahertz range as well, just like Garmin and Hummingbird do. So again, that will help with definition and clarity on the side scan. Now with these active imaging transducers, Lorance has also improved the design of it and the design of the bracket, which in my opinion is really important on these larger 10 inch transducers. And one of the versions also has a high wide transducer option in it for your traditional sonar, which will also enable another feature side scan fish reveal, which we'll talk about as we go. So here's a comparison shot of the new active imaging HD transducer at 1,075 kilohertz on the right and active imaging on the left at 800 kilohertz, which would have been the higher frequency and the more detailed frequency on active imaging. So you can see we do have a lot more fine detail in this image. If you look at the rock pile on the left of the, the sonar screen there, it's definitely more defined and not as fuzzy. And same thing with that structure on the right of the screen. We can definitely see a lot more detail in it. Now, one thing you'll notice is the S3100 on channel two on the new Active Imaging HD. That's a new sonar module that Lowrance has out. So we've got that covered in another video. So Active Imaging HD gives us five new transducer designs and all of them support the megahertz side scan and down scan. So we have Active Imaging HD three in one, which will give you side scan, down scan and traditional sonar. Active Imaging HD 2-in-1, which will give you side and down scan, but not traditional sonar. So that transducer would typically be used on a fiberglass boat, like a bass boat, where it's mounted up higher on the transom, and then you'd have an in-haul 2D transducer that would give you depth while you're on plane. Whereas the 3-in-1 would be better suited for an aluminum boat because the transducer will be in the water at all times while your boat's on plane, based on where it's mounted. Now I'm gonna skip the next two for a second and go right down to the bottom of the list, the Active Imaging HD 3-in-1 Ghost Nose Cone. And this is just gonna be a higher detailed version of that nose cone, so it should improve the Ghost 360 images that we see. The two I skipped over there are the Active Imaging HD 3-in-1 with fish reveal. There's the medium wide and high wide. So if you're a Great Lakes or saltwater fisherman, you'd wanna choose the medium wide. If you're an inland, fishermen, bass or walleye, probably you're going to want to choose the high wide. But the feature in there is the fish reveal. So what is that? That's actually taking the sonar arches that we see and placing them on the side scan. Now, if you're familiar with Lowrance products, we've had that on down imaging for quite a while, but now we're going to have it on side imaging. It does require that optional S3100 sonar module. So we'll cover that more in that video. So is active imaging HD something you should consider upgrading to if you have an older side scan product from Lowrance? We'll take a look at this comparison here. We've got structure scan in the blue at the top left. We've got active imaging side scan on the left. And then on the right, we've got active imaging HD side scan. So you can see as we move through these generations, we're just getting a much clearer, more defined, crisper image to help us identify structure just that much better. It is definitely an upgrade over active imaging, but it's a huge upgrade over structure scan. So if you have a, a LSS2 or a total scan transducer, even a structure scan 3D transducer on your boat, I definitely recommend upgrading to active imaging HD. And here's a couple more examples of active imaging HD, highlighting the chirp feature that we now have on these transducers. So the top two images are active imaging HD at 1,075 kilohertz chirp, and the bottom two are just active imaging at 800 kilohertz. Active imaging HD isn't just gonna benefit you on side scan, it's also gonna benefit you on down scan if you upgrade to this transducer. Take a look at these images that Lowrance has provided on their down scan with the new active imaging HD. We have the original active imaging on the left, we have active imaging HD at 700 kilohertz in the middle. And on the right, we have active imaging HD downscan 
at 1.225 megahertz or 1225 kilohertz. So just like we see in the side scan, we have that much more defined crisper image, and it's especially noted in the bottom detail of these images as you compare them. Now, when you put active imaging HD transducers on an HDS Pro unit, that'll actually allow you to independently control the side scan frequency and the down scan frequency. So you can really fine tune the image for each of those based on the type of structure you're fishing. Now the maximum range on the higher frequencies, like when we're using our megahertz frequencies, is gonna be 150 feet. That's out to the sides and down, depending if it's side scan or down scan. But when you're in the low frequency, that range will increase up to 300 feet side to side or down for the down scan. So here's your pricing on the active imaging HD transducers. I think the two most popular you're gonna see is the first one, the active imaging HD 3-in-1 at 399, and then the active imaging HD 3 3 in one fish reveal high wide at 499. So I'm sure you may have a few questions about active imaging HD, especially with regards to compatibility. So it's a direct connect compatible transducer with HDS Pro. If you do want that fish reveal feature though, you do need the S3100 module even with an HDS Pro unit. If you have an HDS Live, an HDS Carbon, or Elite FS, and you want the high detail views that Active Imaging HD provides, you can also add that S3100 module to get that on your older unit. So that's Active Imaging HD from Lowrance, and I'm really happy to see that they have chirp frequencies and mega frequencies now to get them up onto the same level as their competition with Garmin and Hummingbird. If you're interested in getting all the information on these products, check out the video description where I've got links. You can check out all the pricing and all the specs on these products. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on Active Imaging HD. Take a look at all the other videos in this series on these new products that Lowrance is releasing for 2023. If you do have any questions, please use the comments to ask. I'll be sure to help you out. Thanks for watching this video.